Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be putting the RSX Type S oil pump on my K24 block. Uh, I'm doing this so hopefully I can get this thing to rev up to like 9K, maybe 8.5, um, so I can make some good power out of this thing. I'm just honestly hoping it really starts, to be honest. It's um, my first time building an engine. I've never put one together before, uh, but with the help of the, some service manuals I've downloaded offline and the Hayes manual and my little cat Fluffy, uh, hopefully we'll get this thing to start up and run. Um, so my next few build videos are going to be coming out a little bit sooner because like I said I'm anxious to get this thing in my car and running and see what it can do. Um, this, this actual project here won't take a whole lot of complicated tools, just the basics will be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, next part is going to be installing this K20A2 oil pump on this K24A2 block. Now, I already showed in another video all the modifications I had to make to this oil pump and to the girdle in order to get the K20A2 or the RSX Type S oil pump onto this vehicle, uh, onto this engine, uh, engine block. So I should have the link somewhere unless I forget to do so. Alright, so with the kit I got, they actually give you all the bolts you need. Uh, I sent them in these nice pretty little bags. You'll need one of these, you can get that part number if you want to. That will go right there. And you will need two of these. One will go here, and one will go over here on this back side. Okay, so I stand corrected. You will actually need one of each of these. I don't know if you want to use the part numbers or not. If so, pause the video. Obviously the longest bolt goes in here, second longest, and the smallest. I went ahead and put some 30 weight oil on them. Well, it's that way when I screw them down, they don't make a whole bunch of noise. Your torque measurements. On your larger bolts, these two are going to be 22 Newton meters. Uh, the measurements they gave me were Newton meters. If you don't know how to convert that into foot pounds, Google it. This will be 12 Newton meters. So go ahead and tighten it down. Next, we're putting the oil baffle on. This is the hole that you gotta block if you're running the K20A2 oil pump on your K24 block. This is the one, not this little one back here. There's a little jet that comes out of there. Again, I'll show you in my video where the, the stuff you have to do to modify it. Anyways, make sure it's in. With the kit that I got, they also include these six bolts. They will be torqued down to 12 newton meters. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some engine oil on them and torque them down. All right, so we're gonna be putting the chain gear on. It goes on to the crankshaft. Um, your timing chain will be on this one, going that way. And your oil pump will be on these two. Included with the kit, again, something you'll need for the K20A2 oil pump on your K24 block will be this. This is the timing chain. It's different than your normal timing chain. Well, I'm an idiot. You gonna put that on the video? Me being an idiot? Mm -hmm. Sure. So you need to start over? Pretty much. God damn it. I'm you. Okay, so if you get ahead of yourself like I usually do, uh, then you will have to remove your oil pump again because you will not be getting this chain on with the oil pump already on. So I went ahead and loosened up the bolts. Alrighty, there we go. Now, torque it back down. 22, 22, and 12. Alright, so next I'm going to install the oil pump guide. 
Hole Pump Chain Guide, sorry. And that's gonna go right there. I went ahead and threw some W, uh, some 30 weight oil on there. These are gonna be torqued to 12 Newton meters. And the tensioner on this side will also be torqued to 12 Newton meters. Alright, the tensioner is a bit of a pain in the dick, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and install this bolt on the back side. What they do is they sell clamps that will clamp this tensioner down while you're torquing it. But I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. Since it's not very much, oops, since it doesn't require very much um, force to, to hold it back. As you can see, these other two over here, they slide a bit, a little bit, so you can kind of go in or out, increase the tension, which is what I'm going to do a little bit, just so I can make sure I line this up properly. So I didn't tighten them down very much. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and torque them down to 12 Newton meters, which is not very much, but it's what it says. And there you go, there's your oil pump, baffle, tensioner, guides, and your gear installed ready for the next step thank you for watching the video if you have any questions or comments uh, post them down in the comment section below of course make sure to like and subscribe don't know which side it's on um, but anyways you can also follow me on facebook twitter google uh, google plus and instagram